Hey guys, I wanted to share something with you. If you can't afford to buy a new power supply every time you're restoring something or have a build or something like that, um, what I do most of the time is I try to restore it if I can. Um, I'm cheap, that's for sure. And I uh, just wanted to show you a few things. You see this big spaghetti mess we have here. Um, see this one? It's very nice. And this was very cheap. It wasn't um, those expensive sleeves and you don't have to cut nothing. You don't need a crimper. Easy peasy. stuff I found here is uh, rather cheap and uh, it makes it all nice and tidy really cheap real easy that's this power flex self-adhering sports wrap you can find at Walmart and uh, it just oh it's nice it doesn't it sticks to itself so you can wrap it around here take it off do what you got to do um, no expensive uh, sleeving you don't have to cut no cables it's great and then you get rid of this spaghetti mess here um, if you have an older power supply like I do or even some of the newer power supplies that come sleeved the whole thing's not sleeved so this would be awesome and it is awesome that's why I'm sharing it with you because I actually found this on accident I was trying to get some uh, of that tape that you wrap around your bat I thought maybe that would work but they didn't have it all right, another thing, guys. Um, these are equally old power supplies. This is 10 years old, and this is around the same age. This is a 300, and this is a 400. Um, what I did was restore this one, and I don't suggest you taking it apart unless you know what you're doing. That's what I did. I took it apart. I cleaned it all, uh, rubbing alcohol, got around the fan and all that. I checked all the caps. All the caps are good, um, and, it, it, and it, works, it works fine and now it doesn't look 10 years old anymore and it's going to work perfect for this upcoming video I have. Another thing is if you're troubleshooting an old computer you get no power it could be something simple as the RAM's not seated so you know take out the RAM reseed it and it could be the processor um, you got the incorrect processor in there and it won't power up but um, I want to save you some time and some money if you think it's your power supply you know, have to run out and buy one and, you know, process of elimination. Um, this is rather easy and most power supplies have a green and black wire. I don't know if you can see. Mine's right there. There's a green and a black wire. I'll zoom in on that. Alright. Now you can see the green and the black wire. So now that you see it, let's go ahead and mark it if you want. It might make it a, a tad bit easier. Um, go ahead, green, black. Okay, what we're going to do is a simple little bridge right there while it's plugged in. You may want a thicker wire than this one, um, maybe the same gauge just in case. Um, Another thing is most power supplies have that labeled which one is your power power on as you can see in this one right here green power on black common mostly all the blacks all the blacks are common anyway so what I'm gonna do is I marked that so I'm gonna put this pin in here well, no, it's not going to work with me. All right. There's, there's the two wires that I marked. And you can already hear the fan. I don't know. Probably can't see it. But the fan is moving around in there. You see it now? 
yeah, you can see it. The fan's moving, power's on. Go ahead and get your voltmeter if you need to check any of the any of the ends. Um, you want to check your voltage on any of the rails. And uh, yeah, cool. That's one thing that you can eliminate as a process when you're rebuilding an older computer or a newer, newer computer for that matter.